the last two chapters of the Bible, Revelation 21 and 22, a, a new heaven and a new earth, a very real physical place. We will have physical bodies. Now, Paul says they'll, they'll, they'll be a different type of physical body, a glorified body like, like Jesus, but very real. Nowhere is that more emphasized and demonstrated than a baby. Jesus coming as the baby in flesh and blood. John says, we, we beheld his glory full of, full of grace and truth. The word became flesh. A uh, baby changes everything. I'm Dr. Carol. We are coming up to Christmas. This is Relationship Prescriptions. Thank you for taking a couple minutes just to think about this with me. As an OBGYN physician, I have seen over and over how a baby changes everything, especially a first baby, a firstborn baby. You know, the, the, the mother and God willing, you know, the father and the family, you know, all together, eager, anxious, excited, that baby comes and I, you know, he, he, here's your baby. That, that moment is, is one of the, the most precious uh, moments I get privileged to share uh, in regularly. A baby changes everything about that family's life, their, their future. Uh, both the, the, the hopes and, and dreams and also the, the anxieties and the struggles, what you do with your time, what you do with your money, how you order everything about your home and life. A baby changes everything. This Christmas season, a baby changes everything for us. Now, yes, Jesus was not born on December 25, but the point is he came. He came in the flesh. And that is much more uh, important and revolutionary than we often think about. In the busyness of the Christmas season, we can forget what a just truly earth-shattering reality it was for Jesus to come as a baby, the baby that changes everything. In philosophies, human philosophies, for uh, millennia, there has been this idea that our existence in uh, materialism and our, our physical bodies, everything that you can touch and feel and sense with your physical senses, everything in the material world is you know, tainted or evil. And our goal as living humans is to transcend and get away from everything in the physical material world. The earthly, the material, the physical is bad and only the, the spiritual or the immaterial is good. Now that happened long before Jesus was on earth. There's an old philosophy called Platonism. There's a lot of people who are talking about Neoplatonism now. The Gnostics during the time uh, around when Jesus was here was another uh, pagan philosophy that, that felt similarly. And parts of that ungodly, unchristian philosophy have made their way into the Christian church. Much of the New Testament, especially the letters of Paul, and the emphasis in the Gospels on how uh, real Jesus' physical body was, uh, were, were written to counteract that, uh, that pagan philosophy. Now, think about what you have heard in the, the, the Christian church. Things like, you know, your, your, your flesh is bad and the goal of the Christian life is to, you know, escape this body and, and go to heaven when you die in a spiritual experience. And there's, there, there's, there's an element of truth there, but it is so often distorted. We forget how much God is present just in the, the, the physicalness of our bodies and, and the physical world as in the immaterial. God cares enough about 
physical bodies that he knelt down in the mud at the end of creation week and formed the first human with his hands and knelt down and with his divine lips kissed the mud and breathed his breath and the man came to life Eve the first woman God took from a part of Adam's physical body the, the physicalness of our human person cannot be separated from the other parts of us we so often minimize the integrated way in which God made us the, the physical the emotional the relational and the spiritual all parts of us but you can't just take one part out it's all part of who we are as humans and it's all part of what Jesus came to redeem we sometimes forget that the goal of our existence as human beings is not to escape and go to heaven when you die the end result of all of this human experiment if you want to put it in those terms is right here on this earth the last two chapters of the Bible Revelation 21 and 22 a a new heaven and a new earth a very real physical place we will have physical bodies now Paul says they'll they'll, they'll be a different type of physical body a glorified body like like Jesus but very real nowhere is that more emphasized and demonstrated than a baby Jesus coming as the baby in flesh and blood uh, John says we, we beheld his glory full of, full of grace and truth the word became flesh Jesus uh, body was as human as yours he, he felt pain Mary's birth pangs were were real Jesus bled real blood the first time Jesus bled was probably when he was circumcised he felt real pain and he was resurrected with a real body the the stories of the disciples encountering Jesus after the resurrection take great pains to demonstrate how real Jesus body was after the resurrection he could eat they could touch him that they, they, they could they could feel his, his physical body and in in a dimension that I think our minds struggle to fully comprehend Jesus has a physical human body even now and will for eternity that carries the marks of, of his suffering so that is part of what it means to me when I think of a baby changes everything this Christmas season this week this coming weekend when we when we celebrate Jesus coming in the flesh to this earth I think it's very appropriate that there are so many uh, sense filled moments in this season the the sound of, of Christmas music and in, in, in carols the, the the lights perhaps the Christmas service at your church may, may be a, a, a drama a, a special feast for the senses there's the the fragrances of, of evergreen or of your your favorite you know maybe hot chocolate or the food there's gathering with uh, loved ones friends with with church acquaintances there there's the the sense of connection with others in a way that that may only happen this time of year there may also be the the, the painful parts of our physical experience the the loneliness of not being with the people that you might wish you could maybe the the grief if a loved one is no longer with you and your family this year all of those very physical aspects where our senses take in the the world around us God cares about that and 
a baby. Jesus coming as a human baby. Reminds us how much he cares about all of that. I would invite you to allow those physical senses to speak to your heart this year about the whole capacity in which Jesus came to redeem us. It wasn't just a spiritual experience. It is also a physical experience, a relational experience. All of us is harmed by sin and all of us. Jesus is redeeming by his coming as a baby. I want to say a very special and warm Merry Christmas. May God richly bless you and your family and all around you this Christmas. I'd love to hear from you if you're alone and want to reach out. I will return your Christmas greetings. You can leave me a message on our website, drcarolministries.com. God be with you. A baby changes everything.